hello this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I'm going to start top down crocheted cardigan with this lovely yarn that I've been uh, wanting to start for a while now and finally I received the remaining five more cakes that I have bought it's from Willow Yarns Hirschner's I bought and um just did a yarn unboxing yesterday and the color is garden party and the recommendation crochet hook is 5.0 millimeter crochet hook and it's a four weight it's 87 percent cotton 13 percent nylon and it's a dream to work okay so let me put this aside and the stitch i did a tutorial again yesterday on how to crochet this lovely shell uh, I see shells here. I call this uh, shell stitch. So, uh, but it's going to be looking like this because it's going to be top down. Okay, so let's get started. What I did is I crocheted about 100 stitch chains already. And I measured it through. Oh, I hope I didn't lose any. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right away. The border, I will do single crochets all the way around when I... um finish the card again I might use a different yarn depends because uh really right okay so I'm going to start right away on the third chain I am going to make a double crochet on the fourth chain so three would be considered and on the fourth I'm going to make a double crochet okay so i'm not making any borders or anything i'm just start, starting right away and i will do single crochets around i might use a different color i'm not quite sure okay so after that i'm going to start chaining three okay and the crochet is a five five millimeter crochet hook is it showing blurry oh come on okay and then i am going to skip one two So one, two, uh, three on the fourth, I'm going to make a single crochet. Get a yarn over, single crochet. I'm going to chain three. And then I am going to make a single crochet. Okay, so uh, you need something to measure. This is going to be a crew neck. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, well, this is kind of small for me, but, um, yeah, so, uh, and, uh, at the, this point, so I need to make something like this around, but this is going to be way, way wider, just to point out, so it's going to be like this, and, uh, what you can do is you can put markers and measure it that's another way you can do i would highly recommend to use a marker and i'm just pulling out my markers here let me pull red ones red ones okay so what i'm going to do is uh let me just continue crocheting and i will go from there focusing on the sweater right now I <laughs> don't want that okay so I'm going to chain three so I did my pico as in the tutorial I do show that so I am going to skip three again and on the fourth I'm going to make one double crochet chain three and then I'm going to skip three again on the fourth I'm going to make a single crochet so I'm making a pico. One, two, three. So I am designing this card again as I with you guys when I'm doing the tutorial. I haven't done any swatches. And what happened here? Okay, so I'm gonna continue crocheting. Yeah. So I am going to chain three again and then jump to the fourth one two three fourth and then make a single crochet right there okay 
and then I am going to chain three again one two three and on the fourth one two three on the fourth I'm going to make a single crochet so one two three make another single crochet okay one two three okay I think I need to make a V here these are my increases so one two three on the fourth I'm going to make a V and I will measure and then I will chain two is enough I don't want to make a huge okay so this is going to be my increase Okay, so I will put a marker right here. Okay, and when I measure it, it is going to be big because I am a plus size. A little bit big, that's what I need. Okay, oops, sorry, it's a blurry again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue crocheting and I need to have the beginning same as this one. I need to be cautious about that. To do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many chains I made and I will put a marker and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put my marker on my V. So I'm going to start doing the sleeve area and I counted. So this is going to be the middle. So I need to figure out my sleeve area and my back. Okay, so the sleeve area, I'm not going to put so many stitches, so many, because I don't want, because I'm going to be, oops, I'm going to be doing lots of increases, about 10 to 10, 11 inches long uh, to do my increase for my size. And then uh, I will divide the body part. So uh, this is the beginning. I will show you how to crochet the beginning, how to separate the body parts. If you're using a thinner yarn, then you don't need to. Uh, you can uh, do the same as chain 100 and then go from there. Uh, I'm sure this will fit one size all from small, medium, large. It depends on your size. My size, I'm going to be crocheting 10 inches long. 11, 10, 11, I will measure it while I'm crocheting and then I will divide the body parts. So if you're a small size, I would say seven inches, crochet seven inches long. For a medium, about eight. For a large, between eight to nine. Extra large, again, uh, nine to nine and a half. And uh, two, two extra large, three extra large, I would say 10 inches and uh, up if you're a plus size okay so i'm going to continue crocheting chain three and then skip three on the fourth i'm going to make a pico so i'm going to start with a pico because i finished with the pico and i'm going to consider this uh i'm not going to do anything different but this will be a v every row i will be making an increase okay so i'm going to chain three and then on the same chain, I'm going to make a single crochet. Okay. Chain three. Skip three. On the fourth, I'm going to make a double crochet. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three. And on the fourth, well, this chain was big, so I'm going to do it on, on the third, actually. So you can play around with it because this chain is a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to make a pico. If I do four, then it would be two space. Okay, I'm going to chain three. Yeah, this sleeve is going to be too big. Huh, I'm looking at it. Well, I'm going to make my V here. So instead of skipping three, I'm just going to skip two. And on the third, I'm going to make my V. Okay, chain two and then make another double crochet. Okay, so this is going to be my next increase. So I did the front, I did the sleeve. Now I'm going to be working on the back. Okay. So again, this is going to be the middle. Of the back. 
let's see. Okay, chain three, and then I'm going to make a picot. I'm not skipping three. I skipped two again because uh, the chain is too big. And again, uh, when I do my single crochets, these will uh, close up. So one, two, three. Sometimes you need to use your judgment. Okay, made my picot. Now I'm going to make... Uh, okay, again, I'm going to be making... a. Uh, double crochet chain three okay so i'm going to make this in the middle so i'm going to do is i'm going to come right here and then make a single crochet and then make a pico another single crochet three chain single crochet three chain okay and then i'm going to chain three Okay, while I have this, I can measure this. Okay, just like this. See? Even I put a big space, but because I am crocheting, see, it comes to the same spot. <laughs> Believe it or not. So it will shrink. So I'm going to move this aside because it's. I think it's trying to focus. The camera is trying to focus on this, which I don't want. Okay, let's see. So I am going to jump right here. One, two, three. So I've been skipping two stitches, two, two chains, and I've been doing on the third. So I'm just going to continue doing that way. And when I come to the front, I will skip three. Okay, I'm going to chain three. No, I skipped two actually. So right here, I will make a single crochet. Then make another single crochet. Okay, so I'm going to try make the symmetric what I have done here. Make the same on this side. So this is going to be the middle. So whatever I've done on the other side, I'm going to repeat that. So when you hold it like this, it should match everything. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we did. So I'm going to chain three, and then I'm going to skip two, and the third I'm going to make a double crochet. And I'm just going to look. Okay, it looks like this is the back, right? So when you hold it like this, I should make a V. Okay, so two chain, and then make another double crochet. Okay, now I've finished the back. This is the back. Okay, and now I'm going to work on the uh, sleeve. Chain three. S let's see how many. See, again, I skipped. I'm looking at it. I skipped two. So I'm going to repeat that. It has to be equal on, to, on the other side as well. One, two, three. So I did this. So this one I skip three, I skip two. So I'm gonna repeat that. Okay. Make a double crochet, one, two, three. Then make a pico. One, two, three, four, two, four. Okay, so there's so many chains here. Okay, so I'm going to make one, two, three, just like this. Okay, chain three. I was just looking at uh, my auction. And then I thought the camera, the screen moved. So I thought, what, what, is there a ghost there? <laughs> Does this happen to you guys? Like when you're watching for something and then two, <laughs> you see, uh, you pause your, uh, the movie and then you, 
you sit down and you're doing something else, but the you pause the movie and then it's like, okay, it's playing by itself or is it moving? Like, what did I just see? Oh, so I'm making my V here. Okay. And then I made my double crochet, two chain, and then go. So we're going to finish the front. See? So when I'm holding this to this, when you're holding it, everything should match. See? Ta-da! See how it looks? Nice, eh? <laughs> okay, and then after I finish it, I'm going to put it on my neck area and then see how it looks like. So... Oh, I think I should be skipping four, uh, three. Oh, no, I skipped. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I did skip three. I need to do the same so the numbers can match, right? Okay. What happened now? Okay, so one, two, three. On the fourth, I'm going to make my pico. I was on live, live stream today, and uh, I just want to say my beans did not burn. The pot did not burn. It was just uh, overheated. I, it just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> so uh, I saved the beans. So everything's cool. <laughs> Whoever's uh, watching this after uh, after the pot, uh, live stream that I have uh, did today. So everything went is okay. It just... Uh, I had to end it, so I thought the pot burnt because I forgot to shut it down and I went to live stream. So that happens. We're all human beings, right? We're uh, living <laughs> creatures. <laughs> so again, I just wanted to mention that. So one, two, three, and the fourth, I'm going to make a double crochet. One, two, three, and then I'm going to make a Skip three. Okay, so I'm going to measure again, match it over right here. So I'm going to make my pico one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, I still have to make a, I'm looking at it, I still have to make, did this turn? Oh, I have to make a, get a pico and a, okay. Can't always go back and look. What did I just do? See, look what I did. Okay, so one, two, three, make a double crochet. One, two, three, skip three on the. Two, four, make it pico. One, two, three, single crochet. One, two, three. Two, four, right here. I did extra. And then right here, make a double crochet. Okay, so we should have. Let's just look at this. So when you're holding it, it looks like there's two double crochet, right? So what I'll do is I'll make another one here. So this will be. I want that one to match that one. So when you're holding it, everything should match. See? This is what you want. There's another way, a trick I can share with you guys. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mark the sleeve area here. Here it is. 
Okay, so I am going to start the second row. Again, this uh, stitch is done two row repeat. So we just repeat one after another. And I really like the texture. And I thought this would be appropriate for this lovely uh, yarn. The stitch, you know, some yarns needs to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to chain one, turn my work. And right here in this middle, I'm going to make a single crochet. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to make another single crochet. Okay, so from here, we're not going to do this row. We don't do any um, any uh, chains. So right here in the middle, I'm going to make a total of three double crochets. And then, oh, this yarn is a dream to work with. Right here, I'm going to make a picot on top of that double crochet. Three chain, and then another single crochet. And then I'm here, I'm going to make three double crochets. But I think I'm going to use lots of yarn of this because it's worsted and it's just like butter. It just feels like butter. That's That's all I can say. Okay, I'm going to make a Pico, two, three, single crochet. So when I say a pico, it would be single crochet, three chain, single crochet. Okay. Um, and then right here, I'm going to make three double crochet. Okay. So after that, I'm going to, on this V, I'm going to make V. So every time I see a V, that means I'm going to make a V. So two chain and then make a V. Okay. But I need to make it increase. So to make an increase, what I need to do is I need to make a pico here. Okay, that's how I'm going to do my increases. And then I come right here and then I make a V. Yeah, don't forget we need to do increases. To do an increases, that's how we do our increases. So jump here, make a pico where that three chain is, and then come here and then make three double crochet. Okay. And then I continue crocheting the stitch. On top of the double crochet, I make a pico. Picos are one single crochet, three chain, and uh, one single crochet. So this is the front. Now I'm working on the sleeve. Then I make three double crochet. And then automatically I come here and I make my increases, I make a pico, and then I make my V. One, two. Two, three, and I make my pico. So that's how my increases are going to be. Okay, so uh, I will finish this row. And this is how it looks like so far. And I'll be right back. Okay, I changed color. I just love it. Oh my goodness, look. Went from pink to burgundy. <laughs> And it went to green just love it love it okay so i finished it with a single crochet and i'm going to chain one and then on top of that single crochet i'm going to make a single crochet so i'm going to chain three to go up i'm not going to go over the stitch because i already did a tutorial so this is how i'm going to set it up so i'm just following the pattern oops uh this was supposed to be a pico so i will just show you how it looks like so far and i'm just going to continue crocheting the pattern the stitch as i did on the tutorial 
So one row we do three chains when we're jumping from one place to another. And then when we are uh, on the second row, we don't do any chains. Just to give you a reminder. And it's the two row repeat. One, two, three. Then make a single crochet. One, two, three. Just wanted to show you the next increase when we're doing the next row of the increase. And then after all, we just repeat one after another. Uh, lots of crocheting involved. Okay, here I'm going to make a double crochet. Okay, here I don't have room to make an increase. So what I'm going to do is chain three. And then right here, chain two. So uh, I'm not going to make increases every row. So it would be every other row. So uh, when I'm going coming back, I will do my pico right here. I'll, I will make a pico right here. Yeah, I really don't like then there would be another peak on top of this. Hmm. Or um, I'm going to be making three double crochets and the peak on top of that. So whichever comes first when you're making the uh, crocheting the stitch. Okay, three chain. But I did make a chain here. That's another thing. I wasn't supposed to make a chain right here, so I made a mistake. If I increase every row, it wouldn't be right, right? So uh, I'm just going to ignore this. Uh, it's my error, and I'm not going to rip it. So that's okay. <laughs> that's no problem at all. And I'm just going to continue crocheting. How the pattern looks. On the, on the stitch. Okay, I just wanted to show you how it looks like when you put it down. Okay, so this is the back. These are the sleeves. And here's the front. The back is bigger, of course. Okay. And this is how it looks like. I know it's really hard to see, but the more I crochet, you will see the stitch. See how it looks okay so I'm going to continue crocheting and then you can see my increases so my next increase so this row so one row I don't do any increase and um, on the second on the next row every time when you see three chains that's when you do your increases let's say it that way um, when uh, there's no chain, you don't do increases. Okay. One, two, three. And then come. So I will finish this row and I will come back and show you when we're doing our increase. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished with a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to make a single crochet and then I'm going to jump here and then I'm going to so I'm repeating the second row what I did but I will show you the increase and I just love love this yarn I can't believe how nice and smooth it is okay so I'm gonna come here and then I'm gonna make a pico one two three so again, I did do a tutorial, so I will put the link below, and at the end of the video, I will put the um, when at the end there will be a video showing the stitch. Oops, no chain. Okay, I'm gonna make three double crochet, and then you can follow the. The yarn split there, but that's okay. It's, it's very soft. Okay, so I'm going to come here. Where's my... Oh, here. Here's my V. Okay. See, I forgot to make a chain here. 
yeah you just need to be careful because this doesn't look right so what i'll do is i'll frog it i'll rip it and i'll fix that and i'll be right back okay so i'm at the increase here so i did my pico i'm going to make an increase here to do that i'm going to make three double crochet and then i'm going to jump and then make a v in the v three two chain and then another double crochet and then jump here and then make three double crochet so uh this is all i'm going to be doing the entire row when i come to the v i'm going to make three double crochet and then that's how i'm going to do my increase and i just love 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 how this is becoming see i'll show it to you i think i went up again okay let me just finish this row and i'll be right back okay so i finished the row and this is how it looks like oh my goodness look at this colors and i finished it with a single crochet i'm going to chain one and then on top i'm going to make a single crochet so i'm going to repeat this row and when i come to here i will show you how it looks like because i don't want to go over i don't want to waste the time on the memory card here so uh this row i'm not going to do any increases as you can see there's one row increase one row no increase one row increase and here i'm going i'm not going to make an increase so i will come and show you how it looks like right here and i'll be right back okay so i did my pico here and i did my three chain and i'm going to make my v which is a double crochet two chain and a double crochet so this is all i'm making so this row no uh increases on the next row i will be making an increase uh, where the chain is i think this uh, stitch is perfect to make it top down using this technique okay so i'm going to finish this row and i will show you how it looks like be right back okay so i've been crocheting i crocheted another row and i just wanted to see how the green the the screen looks like and it's just turning fantastic so this is how it looks like here's a close-up look my memory would uh, be finishing any soon so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and uh, yeah stay tuned for my other new coming up uh, videos and uh, you can see the increases here uh, every other row and uh, just love it love it love it I really like this color yeah just be cautious when you 